Hello, welcome to a new video on the uh, FLTK Rust series. So this is a tutorial on creating a, uh, an FLTK application on Android. So uh, I have Android Studio, I run the Android emulator, and here we'll be creating a new Android Studio project. And let's go all the way down to native C++ next. So we can call this, for example, uh, FLTK app. So this will be in the tutorial uh, uh, location and the language, it doesn't matter, you can use Java or Kotlin. Either way, we'll be deleting the uh, Java code. So this emulator is an x86 x uh, emulator. And uh, the first thing we want is to uh, open the terminal here and get more step target add so it is uh, i686 Linux Android so I already have it installed so you can see that this is uh, the emulator here and we can just run this code just to see that uh, it's working or our tool chain is working then the basic idea is that we need a uh, what's called an Android Android native activity uh, that means that uh, there won't be a main activity a Java main activity so once this finishes we can basically just uh, delete the uh, Java file <coughs> Okay, so we'll delete this. Okay, delete anyway. Then we'll go to the manifest. We can actually delete this since this uh, basically calls the uh, main activity. So we can remove all of this. And here, this is from a uh, C++ tutorial. Uh, I'll add the link uh, down below. And basically need something like this. We'll just be changing the name of the library here so uh, we can go back here add this code here and the library name will be the library name that is generated by cmake so native lib so if you check our cmake file here so basically it creates a library called native lib uses a uh, c++ file uh, native lib.cpp we won't need this code so we can remove all the code here we can keep the file uh, basically empty basically uh, this creates a shared library and this just finds some basic libraries for logging etc and here we'll be creating a uh, uh, linking the uh, native lib to the uh, log lib which is found here so we'll be creating a, uh, a rust application now so let's go to the folder here so let us go to um, app source main cpp. We check the directory here, so it's uh, the same directory as the cpp file. We can go cargo new. And we're actually, although we're creating a uh, FLTK application, we want to create a lib and export the main function from the library. So let's call this app for example. And uh, let's open Visual Studio Code. So this is our Rust project here. And uh, dependencies will add uh, to K. And this is actually available in the uh, master branch for the moment. So. Uh, And we'll be using Ninja as a build system since we're using uh, Windows here. And uh, the uh, CMake, which is uh, used to build FLTK, would uh, by default generate uh, Visual Studio product files, which uh, don't work well 
with the uh, with Android basically. So uh, features. Other project system, you don't need to use Ninja. So we'll just uh, save this. And uh, I actually like to run this from the uh, native uh, tools command prompt since you get all the uh, uh, environment variables. And uh, TK app. Not used to the uh, project structure of the Android applications, so okay. App, Argo build, and here we can pass the target, so it's i686 Linux Android. And just leave this build. So once this builds, we can actually link the generated library to the uh, native lib here. Yes, uh, so you can see that if we don't give the uh, if the build script for FLTK detects that the target is Android and you don't set the NDK home variable environment variable, it will panic. So uh, here you can actually uh, so the uh, variable, if we create something like, uh, oops, temp, I have the NDK home, so set NDK home, something like, so this one's basically uh, forward slashes, so users, right, takes the four, app, data, Local Android SDK NDK and uh, just uh, check here. So We'll be using this one. Okay, so we'll just pass this here first. So once this is set, we can resume the build. So once this finishes, it should create something like a uh, libapp.a. So this will be in our uh, CMake current list there uh, app targets target i six eight six Linux Android debug and the uh, A. And we need to also link Android. And here we can create our code. So use FLTK, and then then the main function will be a uh, an exported uh, main. So uh, use no mango and uh, extern c and main. This returns an i32, and then our boilerplate code. So uh, that's app. And uh, the window. We'll be using an Android window. Default, uh, Android no Default. build 
this again. Okay. Yes, so we need to tell this that we're creating a static lib. So here we can say lib create type. So this built, and we can basically try this now, here, and build this. So there is a problem. Um, yes, so there is actually something with the uh, native tool chain. You need to pass something to CMake. Um, this flag. So this is in the same uh, C++ tutorial here. So we can go back to FLTK app. So uh, here and just push it, put it here, for example. Set so CMake shared link of flags, and this undefines the a native activity on create. Save and build. So this is actually our FLTK window. If we try to, for example, uh, so let's close this and uh, just do our. Uh, programming here. So let's add, for example, a button. And uh, so the X, we can get, for example, the uh, screen size. Um, so let's try first. 100. So this is about 800, 600 in width and 800 in length. So if we say, for example, um, say 20, and here, for example, let's say 400, and the width 160 and 80. Let us say click me. So with every change, we need to build first here and then basically check uh, the uh, so we get the uh, the button here we can basically uh, modify the color of the button for example so let's say set color uh, um, 32 and we'll be using a uh, color from uh, the material design so material x color Okay, and we can change the label color and font. So let's set label size, let us say 36. And uh, color, color white. And build this first. And then here, reload. Okay, you can also change the frame type. Uh, so let us say, for example, a flat box. And uh, 
let's push it a bit down. So here, for example, 500 or 600. So this is a rounded flat box. You can push it a bit further down, for example. 700. And let's add a callback, for example. Say uh, when set color color black app withdraw. Oops, we didn't uh, run this. So. So let's just create a uh, let's find it. Let's see. So this is just a pointer copy since uh, FLTK widgets implement uh, internal uh, mutability. Oops. Okay, and run this again. So for the moment, it's not really streamlined. I'd like to streamline it more, make it easier. Okay, so this is too low. Well. And uh, 600. When you click here, okay, you get uh, some margin problems here. You can uh, basically fix this by removing the visible focus. So uh, let's go back here and say, build this. And run this. So you can see the build uh, process uh, is quite fast. So we, we got rid of the uh, little dotted lines there. So uh, this basically works. That was basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, hopefully, I'll be creating more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.